Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel Z here. And in this video today, I'm going to be telling you guys why you should get the Rincon 2 over the Aura Ring Gen 3. Now, again, this is for the Aura Ring Gen 3 as opposed to the 4 because I don't have the 4, I have the 3. So I'm going to kind of compare that with the Rincon 2 and explain why you should get the Rincon 2 over the Aura Ring 3. So right off the bat, you'll be paying $0 a month for the Rincon 2 as opposed to the Aura Ring, which costs around $9 Canadian a month. So that's it's nine times 12. So if you calculate that, that's around $108 a year Canadian for the Aura Ring 3. And that's after you purchase the Aura Ring 3 for around $400. And obviously you could use that without the subscription, but you only get the very, very basic features. And I believe it doesn't save it past two days. I'm not exactly sure, but I do know that without the subscription on the Aura Ring 3, the ring is practically useless. Whereas when you compare that with the Rincon 2, which is not subscription based, you pretty much just buy the ring for around $300 and you own it. You get free access to the app and all the features, including the SP02 monitor, to which Aura doesn't really have because you can't access that on demand. As opposed to the Rincon 2, if you wanted to check your SPO2, you would just go into the app, tap on the SPO2 and it would monitor that right away for you. The app on the Rincon 2 is another thing that's very straightforward as opposed to the Aura Ring app, which is just very vague and very broad and it gives you sleep scores and all these types of scores that don't really make any sense to me, as opposed to the bare stats that Rincon 2 puts right in front of you as soon as you open up the app. So it has everything that I want to see as soon as I open up the app. So for those that don't know, the Rincon 2 was originally a Kickstarter project that raised $4 million in the first 45 days. So again, this is the Rincon 2. It is the first smart ring to provide sleep apnea monitoring with a 90.7% accuracy in, a in identifying OSA. OSA is an acronym for obstructive sleep apnea. So Rincon's internal lab has tested this and it was proven to deliver 90.7% accuracy in identifying sleep apnea. Now how they did these tests, I don't know. So take that with a grain of salt. I do know that I have tested this out and my scores were very low, which is a good thing. You don't want high scores, at least for the sleep apnea test. So officially you get around 10 to 12 days of battery life with a 150 day of use when paired with the portable charging case that this comes with. So it's not a separate charging dock that needs to be plugged in to a power source. It's an actual case with a battery pack on it. Either way, I end up charging my ring after around seven days of use. So Saturday, I end up charging it, or rather Friday night, I start charging it, and then I put it back on Saturday night. That's of course not to say that this ring takes a long time to charge, as it charges in around an hour or probably 45 minutes. I haven't really checked to see how long it takes to fully charge, but I don't wear this ring on Saturday for religious reasons, so I end up just charging it a Friday night and then Saturday night I end up putting it back on. Now another great thing about this ring when compared to the Aura ring is that it has a smaller profile and it is lighter. So if you put the two together, you'll see that the Aura Ring 3 is very bulky relative to the size of the Rincon 2. Now, personally, I do have sensitivity issues when putting things on my fingers or hands. So the Rincon 2 feels so much more comfortable on my finger than the Aura Ring 3. When it comes to accuracy, they're pretty much the same. There's obviously some discrepancy between the both of them, but they're pretty much on par with one another. Now, after this video, I'm probably going to be canceling my Aura Ring 3 subscription if that answers your question. So if you were wondering between these two rings, which ring you should get, I would honestly say that you should just go for the Rincon 2. You're not paying a subscription fee, cost around $300, and you're basically good to go. And if I'm not mistaken, that's around $300 US. So even if you were to buy these rings without considering the subscription fee on the Aura Ring, the Aura Ring is still way more expensive than the Rincon 2. So we're talking about the basic price without subscription. The Aura Ring is more expensive than the Rincon 2. So one thing that I noticed that Aura Ring is better at is when I work out or when I take naps. It's able to recognize it right away as opposed to Rincon, which doesn't really recognize it. It doesn't really interact when I take naps or when I go to a workout. It just kind of posts it inside the stats. So by that, Aura Ring takes the lead there. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this review video. If you guys had any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the flip side. And also one other thing, I'll have links in the description below to where you can purchase this from. And obviously it's going to be on the Rincon website and maybe Amazon if I can find some Amazon links. Well, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.